Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to screen print onto a tote bag. This screen printing method is both easy and inexpensive for personalizing your own tote bags, t-shirts, and other items like this wooden plaque and that cardboard box. I actually drew inspiration for this project from my very own tattoo. And this is the original artwork that I blew up on my computer to better fit the tote bag. You're going to need this transparency film to make your easy screen stencil. You're going to make this stencil according to the manufacturer's instructions, and I'll provide links in the description of this video to easyscreenprint.com where you can buy the do-it-yourself starter kits and all of the accessories. Here are the items you're going to need for this project. A white tote bag, and you'll want to iron out any wrinkles that it may have. It'll make it much easier to screen print. Your completed easy screen stencil, black speedball ink that you can find on easyscreenprint.com, a piece of thin cardboard, a plastic knife or a popsicle stick will work, a small squeegee, a few plastic canvases, and fabric markers of your choice. The first thing you're going to do is insert the cardboard into the tote bag because it'll prevent the ink from leaking through to the other side. Then you're going to place your stencil on top of the tote bag and position it where you want the design. Start off by loading the ink onto your squeegee. Then hold down your stencil firmly and start screen printing. Easy Screen Print also has plastic frames on their website that makes it much easier if you're doing multiple printings. Try to get as much excess ink off the stencil before lifting it off. Be sure to check all four corners to make sure the ink has gone all the way through. And if there are some voids, be sure to go over it again with your ink. Once you've made sure the ink has gone all the way through, then you can completely lift off your stencil. Then place it on a plastic canvas and rinse it off with water. You can let the ink air dry, which takes about an hour, or if you're impatient like I am, you can use a blow dryer to speed it up. Once the ink is done drying, you're going to want to iron it with a regular household iron to really set in the ink so it doesn't wash off if you ever put it in the washing machine. And this is when the fun part begins. You can start coloring. And here is my finished tote bag. I used the same process to make this tote bag as I did to make this wooden plaque. Except with the tusks and the toes, I used white speedball ink to fill it in with a very fine... Paintbrush. Paintbrush. Thank you. <laughs> Cameraman. Don't turn it off. We're going to keep going. I then, once that was all dry, I sealed it with a coat of polyurethane. If you want to get fancy like I did, I painted the sides of it black to really make it look nice. Now this project, the cardboard box, was a lot of fun. I used four different stencils, the first one being this black elephant that's the same exact design as this, except I blacked it out on my computer before I made the stencil. And then this also has a giraffe stencil, zebra, and a leopard print. And I printed all of the sides of the box, 
And to finish it off, I painted the sides of the top with green. Well, that about finishes up my video. Thank you for watching and happy screen printing.